up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up your lead ad forms for beginners, specifically in the real estate niche. So if you're a real estate agent, if you are a mortgage lender, or even if you're in the insurance niche, this ad specific video is going to be for you. So I know a lot of you probably know Facebook has made some changes to their uh, campaigns here, especially in the real estate niche. So the first thing you're going to want to do is log into your business ads manager account. And then when you hit create ad, this is what's going to pop up here. This new special ad category, this is the new uh, what Facebook has added in that's new. So what we're going to do is we're going to select, I am creating a campaign for ads in a special ad category. And then you're going to have to select housing. Once you do that, everything is pretty much the same, but we're going to go through it here. So we want to set up lead generation. And then you're going to want to name it just whatever this, for this one, we'll do a buyer leads. So just name it buyer leads. And then when you come down, I like to turn off this campaign budget optimization and just hit continue. Again, it's good to keep these consistent. So I'm going to do buyer leads. If you're running a listing campaign, you can always name it the listing. So you can do that really easily. And then what you'll want to do is select a page. So I'm just going to do homes for sale in STL. This is just a blanketed Facebook page that's not correlated directly with a real estate agent. Um, if you're a real estate agent or if you're a lender, uh, it's just a little less salesy. They, they don't know who's going to be reaching out to them. So it, it seems to convert a lot better. And then what you want to do is come down to location. Now, this is where the changes have happened in Facebook. So what you're going to want to do is, for instance, I'm in the St. Louis market. So I will hit St. Louis, Missouri. And then what you'll see here, and then you want to select people who live in this location. It's very important that you do people that live in this location and not people traveling through or just visiting the location. But where the changes have happened is that, as you can see here, Facebook will not allow you to do anything less than a 15 mile radius. So you can obviously increase this if you're in a smaller area and you, you want to get a bigger reach. But as you can see here, my potential reach is 1.1 million people, which is plenty of people. If you're in a smaller area, then yeah, go ahead and increase that radius just to get more people to reach. And then I leave the age here just straight 18 to 65 plus. But we do come down and edit the placements. And if you have an Instagram account, you can run it off your Instagram as well. If you don't, then just keep it on Facebook and you know unselect that there. But what I like to do here is just keep it in the feeds only. I, I've noticed that it, it just converts a lot better only in the feed. So I uncheck all these other boxes and I leave it in just Facebook news feeds and the Instagram news feeds or Instagram feed. And then you wanna set your budget. Typically, I recommend never going lower than $5 a day. And just once you get a hang of it, you can slowly start scaling up from there. So I'll leave this one at 20 and I want it to run continuously until I decide to stop it. I'll go ahead and hit continue. Then we'll go ahead and name this up here again, buyer leads. And we'll come down to I like to use single image and photo. And then what I do here is I'll add in a photo. And what I like to do when I'm running these campaigns is I like to build out a collage of five different photos for the video or for the picture here. And the reason I like that is because you can see this one here. It's got a nice picture of the front, the kitchen. I like to do the master bed and the master bath. And then one other cool feature, whether it's the room, if there's a pool, the family room, whether there's a pool or just anything that's really unique or really nice about the house. In this case, I chose the family room. 
Um, but it's very important to use pictures of, you know, the kitchen, the master and the master bath, and then obviously a picture of the front of the house. And the main reason for that is, is because the owners of the house, the people purchasing it are going to be spending the most time in the master bedroom, the master bath and the kitchen. So you want to show those pictures right away to really spark their interest in this. And then what I like to do here is, is I say attention St. Louis County, because that's the county that I'm in. And then I like to say, give features of the house. So in, I would say home buyers, attention St. Louis County home buyers. And then what I would do here is I would say, check out this brand new listing. And then I would give the features here. So you want to enter in the features, which, you know, if you're a real estate agent, you can get that all off the MLS. If you're a lender and you're helping out your realtors, just ask them for that, that information so that you can run these campaigns for them. And then in the headline, what we want to do is say, click learn more for price and location. And then we will come down here and you'll be able to see this here. So this is what the ad will look like. You'll come down here and you'll hit learn more. So that is pretty much how we set up the ad to generate buyer leads. And um, I know I didn't mention this yet, but this has been converting extremely well in every single market. You can get leads anywhere between $1.50 to $5, depending on your market. And depending on how much money you want to spend, I mean, it's, it's nothing for you to generate 100 plus leads a month using this strategy for just one campaign. And then to create our lead form here, this is where we'll come in and I'll name this buyer leads. And then what we want to select is higher intent. Um, this gives the consumer the chance to review their information on this review screen right here and make sure that it's all accurate. What I like to do is turn off the intro. And then for the questions, I like to take the full name here and move it above the email. That's more of a pet peeve there. And then you want to go to contact fields and get their phone number. So you'll get their full name, their email, and their phone number so you can contact them. And then you'll come down here to the privacy policy. In the text, you want to just type in privacy policy. And then what I recommend is whatever company you work for, just enter in your, your uh, privacy policy link right here. And that'll work for you. So um, I'll just put in just facebook.com just to have something in there. And then what you want to do is come down. This is the review screen. This is where the consumer can check to make sure that all of this information is valid. And then they can submit it. And then you want to do come down to the thank you screen here. I like to say, I leave this, thanks, you're all set. And then I like to say, please schedule, please click below to schedule a time to chat. And then I click this right here in this view website schedule call here and then for this I like to put in a actual Calendly link where this is free you can use this and I enter in your Calendly link so you can go to Calendly if you don't have a Calendly just watch one of my other videos on my channel and I'll show you how to set this up for free and what will happen is, is that after they're all set here, they'll click this button. It'll pop up with your calendar and your availability. And then they can schedule a call directly with you so that you can get on the phone with them and figure out if they're interested in this house and what area it's in. If not, you can kind of learn more about what they're wanting and kind of, you know, lead them in the right direction. But this has been just performing really, really, really well. So that's about it, guys, for this. You'll want to go ahead and click finish. And then now that that form has been created, you can come down and hit confirm and the ad will start running. Usually takes about, depending on how many ads you run, could take anywhere from 10 minutes to a couple hours for it to get confirmed. 
and then leads should start running in your business. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you would, please drop a comment below, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel as I am going to be dropping three videos every single week on how you can generate more leads and grow your business. So thanks everyone for, for tuning in and I will see you guys on the next video.